Hey, this is Teddy Herzog. Does it ever feel to you like there's a lot of cars and a lot of traffic sometimes, especially now like at rush hour? Does it ever feel like there's just more and more and more cars? Does planning and building for more cars, does that ever solve the problem? Or does planning and building for more cars only lead to more and more cars. Once upon a time, the Petaluma River was the primary means of transportation in and out of Petaluma. And that's really how Petaluma got started because it has this incredible river access. The people who lived here were able to use boats and come and go, and especially deliver the agricultural goods, the eggs and the dairy down to San Francisco. And so this river was the primary transportation artery around which Petaluma was formed. And of course, after World War II, the automobile took over, the freeway system was built, and here we are still building, still expanding, still making it bigger and bigger. And that's just kind of the story of transportation in the US. We built the entire country around the automobile. There's the uh, Smart Bridge. It's a brand new Smart Bridge. By the end of the year, Smart Train's gonna be running up and down Sonoma County and Marin County. And this is a new golden age that we're in. This is the beginning of an entire new paradigm called public transit. And I'll explain that in a few other ways in this video. And actually that that bridge right there is going to provide Petaluma access through public transit to the entire state in the very near future. Sort of see the train station. Might be able to see a Herzog railroad car back there. That's the train station. And this is a primary node for all those bus connections. And of course, I'm just basically another block from the river over there. And then I can take a uh, short walk and get to downtown just on the other side of the river. As much effort as people put into creating this smart train line, all the decades of work that went into it, I really have to note that the main reason why that's going in is because that railroad line was already there. So that's a key point I want to make about Petaluma River, is it is here. It's still here might need a little bit of dredging once in a while, but people are having fun on it. There's no such thing as a Petaluma ferry boat. It's not on anyone's to-do list at the moment, but the idea has come up from time to time. In the future, 10, 20 years out, if we decided that, hey, we need a high-speed ferry to get from Petaluma to downtown San Francisco or to other parts of the bay, the river's sitting here, the infrastructure's here. All you gotta do is plunk on a high-speed ferry boat, and boom, Petaluma is connected to any other part in the bay that you want. Just an idea, but as I'm talking about public transit, I can't help but think about the river and how valuable of an asset this is to Petaluma. Just as it once was, it's still sitting here to be used as a primary transportation artery again in the future. The California High-Speed Rail Project not yet under construction, but definitely they're deep into planning, doing environmental review, acquiring right-of-ways. So they're deep into the process. Uh, I haven't actually heard a timeline for when it will be constructed, but uh, for the sake of this conversation, let's say it's, it gets built within the next 10 years. The uh, high-speed rail line will go from Sacramento all the way down to San Diego. And what's important for our purposes in Petaluma is that there's another leg of it that goes from Merced to Gilroy up into right into downtown San Francisco. Right now, even as we speak, they've completely demolished the Trans Bay Terminal in downtown San Francisco, and they're creating this new structure called the Trans Bay Transit Center. And this thing is a state-of-the-art system. Uh, the Caltrain, which currently runs from San Jose up to San Francisco is going to run right into the 
new Trans Bay Transit Center. You'll be a couple, you know, walking distance from BART Station. A lot of the buses will end up at this Trans Bay Transit Center. And then High Speed Rail will actually, that will be one of the uh, major stations as well. So what's really fascinating for me living in Petaluma now is I can take my smart train. I can walk. First of all, I can walk to the smart train, jump on a smart train. I take my smart train all the way down to Larkspur, jump on a ferry, take the ferry across the bay. The ferry drops me off at the San Francisco ferry building. And from there, it's a short walk either to a BART station or to this Trans Bay Transit Center where I can catch the high speed rail and go all the way down to San Diego or to Sacramento and all of this walking distance from my house downtown Petaluma. And since we're talking about public transit, I really have to note how good the air porter system is. You can take this bus straight to San Francisco Airport from the fairgrounds here in Petaluma, or you can take a bus straight to Oakland. In my mind, this is a very efficient, very successful system. I've used it several times in the last couple months. It's quick and it's easy and it's comfortable. They get you there fast. The last video I shot, someone made a small comment about, hey, we need more parking downtown. Personally, I've got an opinion about that. My personal opinion is we don't need more parking downtown. If you build more parking downtown, what will that get you? More parking downtown will get you more cars downtown. Just like building a bigger freeway gets you more cars on the freeway. We're entering this golden new age of public transit. The smart train's almost up and running. What we need to do is empower that. We need to empower that by building some high density housing within walking distance of the smart train. And we need to begin to shift our paradigm and figure out, well, how can we begin to serve Petaluma with our public transit system? How can we get people to use the public transit system? That's my little video about public transit in Petaluma. My name is Teddy Herzog. I'm excited to be here as a new resident, loving the new public transit opportunities that are showing up, loving the river, glad to be here. Say hi when I see you around town.